Chris again from Chris Swift Studio, and today we're going to be going over uh, all the techniques you can use to pan surround sound. Thanks for coming, guys. Next time you see me coming, you better run. Here's a music clip that I uh, converted from uh, stereo into surround sound using uh, the program Audacity. I don't know if you know of that one, but it's an extremely powerful uh, audio processing program. Uh, it's great, and it's free, Audacity. Check that out on Google. So here it is. Here's my stereo clip uh, that I, as I say, I've converted into 5.1 surround sound. But yet, yeah, I'm only seeing the left and right channel. So if this is the case with you, then deselect all the clips, click on the project once to get your project settings, come into modify settings and change the audio channels to surround. Click OK and here we go. Now we've got our six channels for surround sound. I've squashed this down a lot so that we can take a look at the sliders and all the adjustments we can make. Okay, let's start with something. The first thing we can do, make sure you select your, your uh, surround sound clip. And this is where we're going to go. Right there. And we're going to go to all our surround settings. So the first one we've got is basic surround. Now what will be true for everything else we'll see today in this video is that you've got this little, the little disc, the little adjuster handle disc thing, whatever that's called. I'm not good on terminology, people. But uh, this, you can make finer adjustments in here. And if you get it out of whack and you don't really like it, press the reset button. It'll take it back. Okay, let's go through every single one of these. In basic surround, as we've got here, you're going to get a tool, tool tip on each one of these that you go through. And they're extremely informative. But regardless, with basic uh, surround, this positions the signal in its default channels with a stereo signal in the right and left channels and you get a mono signal in the center channel. And the slider goes uh, back and forth and the slider, what the slider does is pretty obvious, right? So pan them out, you can see what's going on here. The basics around all the way from left front to right front. And if you can't get it back exactly where you want to, just click the reset button. Next option we have is create space. Now this, this is going to distribute the signal across the surround environment, the entire spectrum, uh, but a little bit more of this is going to go to the center and front left and right channels. Now this is pretty good for if you're going to make a, a general purpose kind of surround mix from any stereo source, uh, which I've done in this case, uh, pretty good. So again, your sliders go from 0 to 100, 0 no effect, to 100% total surround field. No effect to total surround field. Now you notice when I do this, uh, you see some sliders down here moving. And check out the web page for excruciating detail on exactly what each one of these sliders controls. But in today's video, I will not be doing that. But again, as I say, it is on the web page that you're on right now. Okay, uh, next one's going to be dialogue. As you can say, th see, this is emphasized more in the center channel. Uh, it's not only good for dialogue, uh, but it's also good for any kind of voiceovers, where it's going to push the main sound, which will be the voice, towards the center channel, and it's going to push ambient sounds, any a ambient sounds in the room, to uh, the surround channels. Music, pretty straightforward. This is going to distribute a stereo mix signal evenly across the uh, surround spectrum. And this is best used uh, when converting stereo music to a surround mix. And again, it goes from 0 to 100, no effect to total surround field. And again, you can see those two sliders now, the original decoded and also the surround width all the way up. I might mention at this point also that if you set it up, say, all the way here, and you don't think this is this or this or any of the other sliders is quite high enough, you still have the option of 
clicking and dragging. Next one will be ambiance. And now this is going to pan across the, uh, the surround spectrum. Uh, now there's going to be a bit more signal toward the surround channels and a little bit less signal in the front and center channels as you can see here. And you can adjust all of that with the slider. Or the little disc adjustment handle thingy. I've spent hours doing just this, by the way. Now the next one is going to be circle. Now, uh, what Circle is about is, I don't know, have you ever uh, been out in the middle of a field about 3 o'clock in the morning and a police helicopter is circling around your head, you know, with that 8,000 watt light blasting right into your face? This is sort of what this is like. What it does is it'll circle the surround around your head, like the buzzing helicopter or a mosquito or some kind of bee. And now your slider is going to get you minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees, and that adjusts the direction to your head. Oh, yeah, there we go, minus 100, minus well, 100, right. Rotate is a lot like circle, only the opposite. Now the police helicopter is landed, and you are running around it in a circle. And so this is going to pan, uh, pan around the surround spectrum uh, as if you are turning around in a circle. And again, you're going to go minus 180 degrees to plus 180 degrees. These last three are pretty intuitive. Back to front, pretty straightforward. This is going to pan from back to front across the surround environment. Uh, and again, you've got minus 100 all the way to the back or plus 100 all the way to the front. These last two are especially intuitive. Left, left surround to right front. There you go. So get it all the way to the left surround or all the way to the right front. And right surround to left front. Meow, meow. There you go, and all the way back to the default position. And again, one more reminder, you can push this up as you like to accentuate different channels. And the other thing you can do is you can mute selective channels. So for example, if I were to click on this speaker icon, it would mute that one. And I can mute any of them selectively, or I can mute several of them. I can do that and then do a command click on the other one to mute both of them. Again, as a reminder, don't forget to check out all the text stuff on the web page you're at right now to give you uh, all the details on exactly what these guys do. And that's about it for panning surround sound 5.1 with six channels thanks a lot for tuning in guys appreciate it see you later Abraham, kill me a son Abe said man you must be putting me on god said no Abe said what god said you can do what you want Abe, but uh, next time you see me coming you better run